Radio was still in its early days when advertisers discovered how to use music to sell their products. The soul, the soul, the brushless shaving cream supreme leaves your face so smooth and clean. Pepsi Cola hits the spot. Twelve full ounces, that's a lot. Twice as much for a nickel too. Pepsi Cola is the drink for you. In the late 1940s, Bill Meeks was a young musician and salesman for Gordon McClendon's KLIF Dallas. Meeks saw a need for the same kind of musical identification for local radio stations. Well, in those days, nearly every station was ABC, NBC, or CBS. And uh, I had the feeling that uh, most people didn't know which radio stations they were listening to. And I was trying to find a way to really impress the audience with which station they were listening to. And nearly every radio station that we sold Series 1 and 2 did extremely well. They all became either number one or a strong number two. Of course, they were all the music, news, and sports station in each city. Back in those days, though, a station that played <coughs> canned music <laughs> or records was known as the music, news, and sports station. So uh, it was always my contention that people were as interested in music as they were in sports and that they would follow the people who did the music. So we started pushing music. In 1951, Meeks founded Production and Marketing Services of Dallas. Soon, Pam's jingles were on the air for advertisers and radio stations throughout the Midwest. You my dream come true, the answer to. Each and every sweet thing the whole day through. It's K-O-W-H, wherever you go. Tuned on your radio, 660 K-O-W-H in Omaha. Bill Meeks quickly became known for his musical and technical innovations. 1960 brought Series 14 and the beginning of modern-day jingle production, the variable logo. Now stations could customize their jingles with their own musical sig or logo. Here's how it works. First, the basic instrumental background. Then the lyrics and station logo are added. Live it up, have a ball, there's a great new sound coming to fall. Live it up, come on, get with it, the music living. Well, live it, live it up, the call away with yours truly, K O M A. Live it up! Doing it this way allowed each station to use its own musical logo at the end. Whether it was yours truly KOMA, 1190 KLIF, or 70 Wonderful WHB. Bill Meeks was always looking for new ways to do things. His first use of electronic sounds came in 1959. Up to the minute news, 24 hours a day. Up to the minute news. From Radio WKY. By 1961, PAMS was ready to build an entire package around the electronic Sonovox, a device that would make instruments sound as if they were speaking or singing. Here's a basic instrumental track from Milestone Series 18. <laughs> Next, the solo instrument track was added. In final production, the instrument was made to sing. WLS in Chicago. Here are more examples of electronic sounds on early PAMS packages. Summer 
gonna snow, gonna snow. KDWB Channel 63. Other Pam's innovations included the development of a custom built 10 track tape recorder in 1967 and expanding the vocal group to seven voices in the early 1970s. Notice six members of the group are standing around Neumann condenser mics, while bass Jim Clancy works off to the side using a workhorse RCA 44 series ribbon mic. And speaking of Jim Clancy, listen to the bass line on this track. K-E-Y-N, Wichita, Grace Center Radio. Merry Christmas. Jim is still singing and does occasional jingle work in Dallas. You'll hear more of Jim's incredible talents later. Here's another great Pam singer, Trella Hart. Let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. Get it in your soul. Uh -huh. Let's have some all-American fun. Get the groove on down. Yes, on down. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're oh. going to get it on. Oh. Look here now. Keen 900. Trella made countless personal appearances and recorded a record album. Standing next to Trella is Peyton Parks, a red-headed white guy who, as author Don Warsham puts it, could sound very black. Well, it feels like love. It feels like love. Ah, it must be love. Ah, yes. It feels like love. Lenny Rutherford Ty is that voice up there scat singing with the trumpets. Her talents are showcased on 1964's Series 27 Jet Set and became Pam's signature sound of the era. We all oh good guys bring you fun. Musically we're number one in Wichita, the air capital city. Lenny and her husband Paris Rutherford, also a key figure in the early days of the Dallas jingle industry, later moved to Europe where Glenny sang opera. Many jingle packages contained long-form instrumental versions which could be used as themes or promos. Unfortunately, many of these great performances were rarely, if ever, heard in their entirety. Here's the Sono song from Series 18 with the WHB logo, but before the Sonovox was added.
As stations began having success with the country format, Pam's was right there. Come and listen to a country station, maybe the best in the nation. Turn your radio on. Turn your radio. Turn your radio on. Turn your radio on. Turn your radio on. Turn your radio on. Ten seven oh the fiddles fiddling, the guitars are picking country music singing. Country music singing. Turn your radio on. Turn your radio on. Oh, yes, turn your radio on. The country music fills the air. Turn your radio on. Oh, yes, turn your radio on. The one that cares. Turn your volume up loud. Real, real loud. Country music fills your soul. Turn the volume up loud and let the ranch hands make you feel at home. Turn your radio on. Turn your radio on. KCKN serves you right. Right. KTTS all over the Ozarks. Of course, Pam's wasn't the only company cranking out jingles for Great Plains radio stations. Here's a montage of work from some of those other companies, plus more great Pam's cuts. We'll start with this cut, which Mary Pickford and Buddy Rogers brought with them when they established Wichita's Channel 1070 Curl, produced by Sandin Green, whose jingles were perceived as being at the high end of the quality scale in Los Angeles. By the way, please forgive the audio quality. I've been looking for a better copy of this package for 40 years. Hear the radio curl DJ for the best discography. Move it up rightly round the clock with each musical MC. Step right up and meet them. Here they come parading by. And then you'll always greet them when you turn your mind on high. Bill Miller. Dale Weaver. Bob Freeman. Mike Russell. Dennis Hunt. Marv Rees. Hear the curl up and comers in high five and the swinging sounds of the day. Stay tuned to Channel 1070 Curl and each radio curl DJ. Dale Weba went on to work at KOMA. Bob Freeman became the founding father of Wichita's KEYN. And Bill Miller is the host of a weekly syndicated radio show. And now, our jingle montage. The red and white will shine tonight. Jennings High will do or die. The perfect combination, the Bulldog Station, KXOK St. Louis, and Jennings High. Portable console, push button dial, the best in radio, high price style. Pocket size, short wave, transistor too. We always bring the best to you. K F O R one two four O. K F O R Lincoln's first station. K F O R one two four O. We're glad you turned on your radio. We're very happy that we can show. Many wonders that let you know We're Lincoln's LMS Radio 148 This is the sound Of wonderful music K-S-A-L, Salina. K-S-A-L, Salina. The voice of 
voice of radio Wichita is Radio Station KFH. Everybody dance, dance, dance. Come on along and dance, dance, dance. Good KLSI music makes you want to dance. Fun radio at 910 KLSI. No work. All play. It's a heart filled no holiday. Work, it's a heart filled no holiday. Work, all play. This is Radio 910. KLSI. The station that's all heart. From Salina, Kansas. This is Radio 910 KLSI, a station that's all heart. Chicago, the Gary Gear Show. WLS Chicago, for solid rock. WLS. Hey down, one boogie, one boogie, let's boogie check. One boogie, one boogie, let's boogie check. John Beckham's like the girl. WLS. Music Radio WLS Chicago The preceding Was a copyrighted feature And may not be reproduced In whole or in part In whole or in part Without the written consent